Circling the Earth in my orbital spaceship, I marveled at the beauty of our planet. People of the world, let us safeguard and enhance this beauty, not destroy it. These were the powerful words of Yuri Gagarin, the first human to journey into outer space. On April 12, 1961, Gagarin's Vostok 1 spacecraft completed a single orbit around Earth. This marked a pivotal moment in human history and the dawn of the space age. Gagarin's accomplishment was a testament to the Soviet Union's early dominance in space. The Soviet Union had beaten the United States in putting the first man in space, showcasing their technological prowess. This achievement sent shockwaves across the globe and ignited the space race. The world watched in awe. From launching the first artificial satellite Sputnik 1 in 1957, to sending the first woman Valentina Tereshkova into space in 1963, they consistently pushed the boundaries of human exploration. Their achievements were not limited to human spaceflight, they also made significant contributions to our understanding of the cosmos. Their Luna program achieved the first ever soft landing on the moon in 1966. The Soviet Union's early space program was marked by a series of groundbreaking achievements. These achievements captivated global attention and cemented their place as pioneers in space exploration. The launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957 sent shockwaves around the world. This small, simple satellite was the first artificial object to orbit the Earth. Sputnik's success was a major propaganda coup for the Soviet Union. It demonstrated their technological superiority over the United States. This event triggered the space race. Both superpowers poured resources into developing more advanced rockets and spacecraft. In 1959, Luna 3 captured the first-ever images of the far side of the Moon, a feat that had previously been impossible. This mission provided valuable insights into the lunar surface. These early successes established the Soviet Union as a dominant force in space exploration. The development of the Soyuz spacecraft in the mid-1960s was another significant achievement for the Soviet space program. Its reliability and adaptability have made it the longest-serving spacecraft in history. It continues to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station today. The dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991 had a profound impact on the Russian space program. What was once a source of national pride and a symbol of technological prowess faced an uncertain future. The once mighty Soviet space program was fractured. Former Soviet republics, each facing their own economic and political challenges, now controlled key infrastructure and resources. In the aftermath, Russia established Roscosmos, its federal space agency, to manage its space activities. Roscosmos inherited the legacy of the Soviet space program, including its skilled workforce and vast infrastructure. However, it also inherited the challenges of a post-Soviet economy. Funding became a major hurdle. Despite the challenges, Roscosmos achieved notable successes in the post-Soviet era. The agency continued to operate the Soyuz spacecraft, this provided a reliable means of transporting astronauts to and from the Mir space station and later, the International Space Station. Russia played a crucial role in the construction and operation of the ISS. This demonstrated its continued commitment to international collaboration in space. However, the early years of the 21st century saw Roscosmos grappling with a number of setbacks. The Rise of SpaceX, a new era of exploration. While Roscosmos grappled with the challenges of a changing world, a new player emerged on the global stage SpaceX. Founded in 2002 by entrepreneur Elon Musk, SpaceX aimed to revolutionize space technology and make human life multiplanetary. Musk's vision was ambitious to say the least. He sought to drastically reduce the cost of space travel. SpaceX's early years were marked by both setbacks and triumphs. Developing reliable and cost-effective rockets proved to be a daunting task. Early failures tested the company's resolve. However, Musk's unwavering determination and SpaceX's innovative approach began to yield results. The Falcon 1, SpaceX's first launch vehicle, reached orbit in 2008. This success marked a turning point for the company. The Falcon 9, a larger and more powerful rocket, followed. SpaceX's success in developing reusable rockets was a game-changer. This innovation had the potential to drastically reduce the cost of spaceflight. Innovation at SpaceX Reusability and Beyond at the heart of SpaceX's success was its relentless pursuit of innovation. The company challenged conventional wisdom in the aerospace industry. It adopted a Silicon Valley approach to engineering. This approach emphasized rapid iteration and a willingness to take risks. 
One of SpaceX's most significant innovations was its development of reusable rockets. Traditionally, rockets were expendable. They were used only once. This practice made spaceflight incredibly expensive. SpaceX sought to change this paradigm. They designed the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets with reusability in mind. The first stage of these rockets, the most expensive part, was designed to return to Earth and land vertically after launching a payload into space. This process was initially met with skepticism from industry experts. However, SpaceX proved the doubters wrong. In 2015, SpaceX achieved the first ever successful landing of a first stage rocket booster. This marked a historic moment in spaceflight. The ability to land and reuse rockets significantly reduced the cost of launching payloads into orbit. This made space more accessible to governments, companies, and research institutions. SpaceX's commitment to reusability extended beyond the first stage of its rockets. Challenges for Roscosmos funding, sanctions, and stagnation. While SpaceX surged ahead, Roscosmos faced a myriad of challenges that hindered its progress. The post-Soviet economic realities continued to cast a long shadow over the agency. Funding for space exploration remained a persistent issue. The Russian government's priorities often shifted. Economic downturns and competing demands for limited resources forced Roscosmos to operate on a tight budget. This lack of consistent and adequate funding limited Roscosmos's ability to pursue ambitious projects. It led to delays in the development of new technologies. International sanctions imposed on Russia following its annexation of Crimea in 2014 and its invasion of Ukraine in 2022 further exacerbated Roscosmos's woes. These sanctions restricted Russia's access to Western technology and components. This hampered its ability to develop and manufacture advanced spacecraft and rockets. Roscosmos was forced to rely on outdated technology. It struggled to keep pace with the rapid advancements made by private companies like SpaceX. Beyond the financial and political hurdles, Roscosmos also faced internal challenges. The agency was plagued by allegations of corruption, bureaucratic inefficiencies, and a lack of transparency. These issues stifled innovation and hampered its ability to compete on the global stage. A new space race, the future of exploration. The rise of SpaceX and the challenges faced by Roscosmos highlight a fundamental shift in the global space landscape. Private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Rocket Lab are now at the forefront of space innovation. They are driving down costs, pushing technological boundaries, and opening up access to space like never before. Governments are no longer the sole players in space. Companies are now competing for lucrative contracts to launch satellites, deliver cargo to the ISS, and even send tourists into orbit. SpaceX's Starship program aims to transport humans to Mars and beyond. Starship could revolutionize space travel, enabling a permanent human presence on Mars.